being black in Austin, I've been in Austin for about four years now, almost four years. And I love Austin, man. I love it. It's a, it's a beautiful place. Lots of opportunity. But then again, it's like no representation. I haven't seen a community for minorities. Me and my wife, we like to go out to eat new places, different places, different bars, different, you know, art galleries and stuff like that. And I may be the only black person in the room. You know, I'm comfortable with myself to, to be able to stand in that position, but it wears you down. It really does. I realize that, you know, we're out here. We, we really are, we're out here. But a lot of people are doing their thing. It's just, I feel like it's underground right now. There's some of us out here, man. Like, we just have to find them, find each other, come together. I feel like that's where I kind of come in because that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do with this event. That's what I want to do with, with Third Coast Collective is to create that community of color, man. Create those inclusive spaces for us to socialize, network, just come together, be ourselves, like hang out. Like, I'm figuring out that's my path, I think. You know, because I've had ideas in the past that I want to do here, but I haven't been passionate about it. But this, I feel real passionate about. Like I've been an events manager, operations manager my whole career. So it's kind of what I do. Like I've never built an event from scratch. So yeah, I mean, of course we love everybody. And everybody's welcome, but I'm targeting minorities. I'm targeting black and brown people. That's what I, that's what I want to see. That's who, uh, that's who I want to target. That's, you know, that's definitely the market that I'm going after. Yeah, UT is, uh, is definitely very white, very white. Uh, as you know, I work in athletics. I work in the football stadium, baseball stadium, and I work in our premium areas. So that includes like 115 suites, five or six club areas. There's definitely no representation of, of us in there. Like there's majority white people in there. I deal with on a game to game basis. They're in the suites, they're in the clubs, and they're just entitled, bro. Like I've had two incidents this season of, of dealing with suite owners that think because they purchase a suite, they've given money that they can talk to you any type of way, they can treat you any type of way. And like, I'm a man first, like I don't, I can give a fuck about the job, bro. Like, like you're not gonna talk to me any type of way. But it's just that mentality, man. Like, and that's a big driver of why I wanna do this. And that's what I've been struggling with being in Austin, um, finding that purpose and, and figuring out my place here. We need, we need to see each other, man. We need to, we need to build that community. Like, I feel like, I feel kind of fed up, man, at this point, like, I've never been pressured to like not be who I am. It's just I'm tired of not seeing us, bro. Like I'm tired of not having a space for us to to be together. There's a lot of us out here, bro. There's a lot of us out here. Man. We just don't realize it. And I think that stems from back to the spaces, man. Back to a space or just I think it stems from not having a space or people just being uncomfortable being out. I think it stems from a lot of issues that we need to resolve. In producing this event, like I've reached out to a few minority run organizations and they just like flat out don't respond. That frustrates me, man. Like it drives the urgency as well. Like, you know, with this event, man, I think it's a timely thing. I think it's it's kind of a right on time thing. I feel like this is this is it. Like this is this is what I need to be doing. Like I'm transforming my career, like attributes, you know, my, my skills, it's something I believe in, something I'm passionate about. I think with our generation and the next, we're finding value in ownership in in spaces and economics, but it's gonna take a while. And I just hope it's not too late, you know? Because this is, this is our community.